One of the first questions that we're all typically asked when we meet new people, you know, outside of our name, there's usually a variation of, um, you know, what do you do for a living? Uh, who do you work for? And that just got me to thinking, and I'd love to ask you guys the same thing. Who do you work for? a lot of you all are like you know duh I work for such and such incorporated okay with that said I don't care whose name is at the top of that building I really don't care who signs your paycheck if you answered this question in any other way outside of saying I work for myself I really need you to rethink and reevaluate how you see yourself in this workforce. Because the reality is, whoever it is that signs your paycheck, whoever's logo is on that door that you walk in and out of every day, those are your employers, nothing more. But you work for yourself. That's who you're working for. I speak to you guys, I read your comments, and there's this, common thread like this theme that most people are so frustrated they're frustrated because they're not being um bumped up in the company they feel like you know my my talents are going overlooked I, I i come in here and i'm working so hard and i've been passed over time and time again for new positions please understand everything that you're doing to enhance your skill set it Yes, it benefits the company, but it stays with you. It is making you more of a hireable employee if you choose to ever leave that job. If you choose to open your business one day, that skill set, it doesn't stay there. It goes with you. You are working for yourself. Change the way you think. Stop looking for validation in other people. You know how many times I've heard people say, you know, Sean, there's just no opportunity at this job. I don't know why I'm going to stay here because there's no real room for advancement. Okay, and I always hit them back with the same thing. Are you still learning? Because if you're still learning, if you are still, you know, getting responsibilities that help you to continue growing, stay there. Stop worrying about them. Stay right where you're at. Now, if you answer this question, I'm no longer learning, maybe it's time to leave. But so long as your skill set is being increased on a daily basis, so long as you have the opportunity to continue to learn, you, the individual, are growing. I remember, you know, when I, I and God knows, I took about four internships before I was finally able to land my dream job in the music industry. And when I finally got in, I never looked at my peers, the people to the left and to the right of me as my competition. I didn't care about who had the time. Yes, I came in as an intern and I worked my way up, but I didn't care who were the directors and who were the VPs at the, no, I was looking at the CEO. That was my competition. Y'all were just in the way, period. I was taking anything I can possibly get because I wanted to enhance my own skill set because I knew I was working for me. Change the way you think. Please understand, yes, we've all heard you know, especially with Floyd Mayweather, he has that motto, hard work, or, or that mantra, hard work, dedication. But the reality is he should have added consistency. Because if you, let's stay on Floyd Mayweather for a second, 50 and 0, that man is consistent. Yes, he does have a hard work ethic. There's no question. There is, it has to be a lot of determination there, but more than anything, it is consistency. Every time he got in that ring, he was very consistent. 
very consistent. And consistent Jim didn't just start when he went into camp preparing for a new uh, upcoming fight. He was consistent in terms of his lifestyle. Even when there was no fight book. That was the only way that he was going to continue to win and leave the sport at 50 and 0. Michael Jordan, six rings, three rings, retires, comes back to the sport and gets three more. The definition of consistency, definition. Or well, let's turn the page. Look at somebody like a Drake. Drake, what did he come out in like 08? Since 08, has there been one day, even one day, that you haven't heard a Drake record on the radio? You haven't heard a Drake record being streamed. Drake is so consistent, he will never take his foot off the competition's neck. He is literally gunning for the crown. Very consistent. We can look at people like you know, Sean Puffy Combs. What's, it, what's his mantra? Can't stop, won't stop. This man won't sit down. Those words, he lives them. Like, he won't stop. Bad Boy Records. Sean John. Sirac Vodka. So forth and so on. Right now, the man's damn near kissing a billion dollars. And still won't take his foot off the competition's neck. That's consistency. But at the end of the day, in all of these examples, each of these people understood they work for themselves. They were acquiring new skill sets, understanding how to do things better today than they did it yesterday so that they can apply it to new endeavors that they will work, that they will work on tomorrow. And that is the way you have to think. Stop being frustrated in your current situation. Stop looking at, you know, that job that you work for as the end all and be all. You don't know where you're going to be tomorrow. But I can assure you that skill set that you've acquired, it's going with you. Whoever signed your check, whoever's name is on that building, again, that's your employer, but you work for you. Peace and love, guys. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all in the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.